Yo, 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 it's video time. I haven't made a video in a while. So I'm going to do this one take and one take only. So people have been asking me, how do you get your dolphin pictures? Well, not even dolphin pictures. It's just how do you get the me's for the war tables, for the backgrounds, and the cool stuff? So literally, all you got to do is get dolphin connected to WIMFI. And oof, there's a bill. Yeah. Yeah. This race hasn't even started, and there's bills going. Yep, yep, yep. You know what? I'm not retaking this. We're going to keep going. So I'm just going to restart this. And we're going to just pretend that never happened. All right, so open up your dolphin. You need to connect to WIMFI. If you want to know how to connect it to WIMFI, I'll make a video eventually about it. It's updated part two on how to connect. My old video is a little bit outdated on that because now you need your Wii NAND for it to connect properly. And unfortunately, the, the one Dolphin gives you is just doesn't work anymore because I guess too many people have been breaking in and doing stuff. So you want to go to your graphics, you want to go to enhancements, and you want to match your internal resolution with the screen of your monitor. So most people are going to have 1080 on as their monitor screen, their resolution. If you got higher, then upscale it higher to whatever it is. If you do it higher than what it is, it's not giving you any benefit. If anything, it's just going to make your frames drop or use up more of your power that you don't need to, your resources. It doesn't give any graphic boost because it's got to downscale anyway. So there's that. And the last... Yeah, the last thing is still in graphics, you want to go advanced and make sure free look is toggled. Free look is a nice boundary breaking tool that lets you go to places you shouldn't be while playing games, and it's very, very nice. So, assuming you can connect to Wi-Fi and all that, we can start playing the game. So connect to WIMFI and you want to add the person who you want to take the me from. And you want to make sure that the person's me is the correct me that basically they've used last and you've seen. If you just add their FC, it'll just load whatever me they use last. So if it's not the right me, you're going to have to ask them to change it and join your room or something get that so for a demo we're just gonna pick my me so all you gotta do is with the free look you hold shift and you want to just move your game right out of bounds so I did shift D because WASD controls the movement Q and E are your up and downs and if you, you got to make sure you hold shift and 1 and 2 changes the speed of your movement so right now all you're doing here is just grabbing a screenshot of the me with the yellow background just so you can take it out really easily after. So pick your favorite screenshotting app. I'm using ShareX. So all you gotta do is go inside the box. You can go close to the border but it doesn't have to be precise. The only one you want to try to get close to is the one on the bottom because your me cuts off right at that yellow line. But you don't want to include it. So there. It's going to upload it and you're going to save it to your computer. And that's the simple step. So next step, you got your me. Now you want to go all the way to this website found. It's pixeler.com slash x. It's their up and coming, I guess, update to their picture editing thing. So you don't even have to download any software for this, which is great. So. We're going to go ahead, drag the me in here. There you go. So you want to click the scissors on the left, which are partially off screen. On the left, you'll see a bunch of icons. Just the third one down, scissors. Click that. Click the magic wand. I changed the tolerance to about nine. Tolerance is just tells you how much of this yellowish color should it cut out. Higher, it'll cut out a lot more of the background and the lower it is it takes out less. So around 9 works perfect for me. You can take out the backgrounds fairly easily. 
And if you take the picture too big, you got this little yellow background left because I screwed up my screenshot. Which is okay because there's an eraser somewhere. So you just hit the little paintbrush, hit remove. Just, if you mess up, you just go over all that and you kill it. Except I don't want to kill my glasses, so we're not going to kill those. There. Cool, you're done. Wow. Now what? You just go to the bottom right corner, hit save. I don't care, it's cropped out. I'm doing this in one take. And here it gives you the dimensions of your thing. So the smaller screen that you use, the smaller the size is going to be. So just so you know why you get a different number than I do. Then you just download it and you can import it anywhere you want. And it's really simple doing that. So I'll make a video on WimFi thingy sometime. Because according to my upload schedule, it takes a long time. So hopefully this helps somebody. And we'll see you next time there's Megas.